Today we're simplifying complex numbers. So in the previous sections, we saw that not every quadratic equation has real number solutions. Sometimes we get imaginary solutions. And we remember from the previous section that the imaginary unit i represents the square root of negative 1. And so we also saw that a complex number written in standard form is the number a plus bi, where a and b are real numbers, and then i represents that imaginary unit square root of negative 1. The number a is the real part, and then the bi is the imaginary part. Now, all real numbers can also be written as complex numbers by letting b equal 0. So the number 9 could be written as 9 plus 0i. This makes the set of the complex numbers larger than the set of the real numbers. If we were to sketch kind of a Venn diagram, so a Venn diagram is like this, where what we have in common is what overlaps. The Venn diagram that shows the complex numbers and the real numbers would be like this. I have the set of complex numbers and the set of real numbers would be all the way inside it. That means all real numbers are also complex numbers because I could write them as a plus zero i and then the complex numbers are a plus b i where b is not zero. Okay. Now we can perform all the same operations with complex numbers that we can with real numbers. So we can add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Today we're going to focus on addition, subtraction, and multiplication. So finding sums and differences of complex numbers, the easiest way to think about this is that we're going to treat i similarly to how we treat an x or a variable. Um, it's not a variable, remember it stands for the square root of negative 1, but the same rules apply, like you can combine like terms, so you can combine i terms with other i terms. Um, and so the idea there is that when we add, we're going to combine like terms, and when we subtract, we need to distribute a negative first um, before we can combine. So let's look at these first two examples. If I want to add 8 minus i, which is all one complex number, a plus b i, plus 5 plus 4 i, I don't have anything to distribute because this is just a plus. Um, so I can add the real number pieces, 8 plus 5, that gives me 13. And I can add the minus i and the plus 4i, so that gives me plus 3i. And that, a plus bi, is my new complex number. So when I add two complex numbers, the result is also a complex number, and that would be our answer. Notice the order. The order does matter. I would never write this as 3i plus 13 because the standard form of a complex number is always a plus bi. The i part always has to come last. So for number two, the only thing we would do differently is the 7 plus 6i, or 7 minus 6i rather, that part's going to stay exactly the same. But first I need to distribute this negative. So now I get minus 3 plus 6i. And now I'm ready to combine my like terms. So 7 minus 3, that gives me positive 4. Negative 6i plus 6i, those two are going to make 0. And 0i zero is just 0, so all I get is 4. Here's a case where I added two complex numbers, and the result was actually just a real number. So that's kind of nice. So I'd love for you to pause your video and go ahead and give number three and number four a try on your own. Remember to distribute the negative, or in the case of number four, we have constants to distribute first. You follow the same rules that you do as if they were x's. So go ahead and try those. I'll come back in two seconds with the answers. Okay, so here's what we get. First case here on number three, we have to distribute this negative. And once we do that, we combine our like terms, and you should get 11 minus 2i. And then on number 4, we need to distribute the 2 first. That's how we get 6 minus 2i. And then we distribute this 5. We get 30 plus 10i. And when we combine our like terms, that's how we end up with 36 plus 8i. Okay? All right. Moving on to multiplying complex numbers. Now, one thing that we talked about in the last section is that i squared 
is equal to negative 1. Now, when we multiply, we have to use our properties of exponents. Remember, with variables, when we multiply x times x, we add the exponents and we get x squared. So the same thing happens here. If I multiply i times i, I get i squared. And because i squared means the square root of negative 1 squared, i squared is equal to negative 1. So anywhere that we end up with an i squared in our expression, we're going to need to replace it with a negative 1. So when we are multiplying, we're just going to distribute, but just remember that an i times another i is going to give us i squared. So here we go. I will distribute 4i times negative 6 and 4i times i. That gives me negative 24i. And then 4i times i gives me plus 4i squared. i squared needs to be replaced with negative 1. So I get negative 24i plus 4 times negative 1. Now this 4 times negative 1 is going to make negative 4, and then I have my minus 24i. And you notice how I reversed the order here because, again, standard form always has to be a plus bi. The i has to come at the end. And so your final answer should never have any i squareds in it. It should only have i's, okay? So that's just distributing one term. Now on number 6, we have two terms that we have to distribute. You've seen problems like this in Algebra 1 where we multiplied binomials, but maybe not with i's in them before. So we have two things we need to distribute. First, I need to distribute this positive 9. Second, I need to distribute this negative 2i. So we'll first do 9 times negative 4 and 9 times 7i. So I get negative 36 plus 63 I, and then I distribute negative 2i, don't forget the negative, so that is going to be plus 8i and minus 14i squared. Now, what you may notice from what happened last time was multiplying by that i squared since it's negative 1, all it did was change it from a positive 4 to a negative 4. So similarly, that's going to happen here. That negative 14 is just going to become positive 14. So all of this is going to stay the same, and this is going to become positive 14. And that's because i squared is equal to negative 1. So now we can combine our like terms. The constant goes first, so that's negative 22. And then 63i plus 8i gives me plus 71i. And that's our final answer in standard form. Okay? And so that is all you need to know about adding, subtracting, and multiplying complex numbers. And we will talk about how to divide tomorrow.